After World War I, German aircraft development was restricted and unable to freely develop its own aviation industry. However, this did not defeat Germany. Like artillery and other equipment, Germany found a way to develop through cooperation with Sweden. The Duax large seaplane is the result of this effort. This aircraft was the largest before World War II in terms of weight, and slightly smaller in size than the Soviet AN-20 large bomber. In the mid-1920s, Germany proposed a plan to build large seaplanes. Like commercial airships at the time, these large seaplanes were also planned for transatlantic commercial flights. Compared to airships, seaplanes had significantly lower usage rates and did not require the construction of large airship land ports, warehouses, etc. They could be accommodated with minor modifications to regular seaports. In 1929, the first Du-X seaplane was unveiled in the Swiss town of Altenrhein with funding from the German Ministry of Transport. The aircraft's design was quite unique, resembling a combination of a boat and an aircraft. This drew skepticism from many, with some doubting whether it could even fly or be used for effective transportation. The aircraft used a semi-cantilever monoplane wing design with an all-aluminum fuselage and a wing structure with a combination of hard aluminum alloy and linen fabric skin. The aircraft was shaped like a ship, with short wing structures on both sides. The interior was divided into three decks, with the upper deck connected to the wing serving as the control room for the crew and radio room. The middle deck was for passengers to sit, rest, and eat. The bottom deck was for cargo, including passengers' luggage and fuel tanks. It also included nine watertight bulkhead structures for redundancy and buoyancy, ensuring that as long as seven bulkheads remained intact, the aircraft would have sufficient buoyancy on water. The aircraft weighed 52 tons, had a wingspan of 48 meters, and was powered by 12 radial engines. The engines were positioned in six short nacelles supported above the wings, with each nacelle housing an engine that drove a propeller in a push-pull configuration. Despite the naysayers, the Du-X successfully took its first flight on July 12. However, due to insufficient engine power, the aircraft was unable to reach the 500-meter cruising altitude required for transatlantic flights. To prove its worth, on October 21, the Du-X conducted a manned flight with 169 passengers, including the crew. Although it only flew at an altitude of about 200 meters for 4 to 50 minutes at a speed of approximately 170 kilometers per hour, it demonstrated its transportation value. This passenger transport record held for approximately 20 years until it was broken after World War II. In 1930, the Du-X was equipped with 610 horsepower V-1570 V-12 engines, giving the aircraft the capability to cross the Atlantic, with a maximum range of approximately 1,700 kilometers and a maximum ceiling of about 3,200 meters, capable of transporting 60 to 100 people. Dornier Company began aggressively promoting it and planned a flight around the Atlantic demonstration, which drew the attention of other countries and some airlines. The early 1930s economic crisis dealt a heavy blow to the Du-X. As European countries were still recovering from the effects of World War I, the economic crisis caused long-distance commercial transportation to plummet, and almost no companies had the ability to purchase and maintain such large aircraft. Overall, the Du-X seaplane was quite successful in design and had the potential to become a transatlantic commercial aircraft. However, the era in which it was born killed its survival prospects, preventing it from having the opportunity to further improve itself. As the first Du-X born in Switzerland, it was sold to the German company Lufthansa when Dornier Company was on the brink of bankruptcy. In 1933, it entered the Berlin Aviation Museum and remained there until November 1943, when it was hit by an Allied bombing raid, and not even its parts could be salvaged.